Hey Taurus, thank you so much for coming to your weekly love reading. This should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome, welcome. This can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends um, on who's actually watching the reading. If you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. Also, please feel free to comment. I love reading what you guys have to write and really interacting with you on a personal level. So with that being said, Taurus, let's go ahead and hop into your reading. So Taurus, woo, you guys are like, I am here, Taurus. No. All right. Okay. What, uh, who is Taurus dealing with romantically or who is Taurus thinking about while they're watching this reading right now? Uh, romantically, who's Taurus dealing with? Okay. The emperor, obviously that's strong ass Aries energy. Okay. Let's just slap that little buddy right there. How does Taurus feel about their person romantically? Okay, Princess of Cups. Now, that can be any of the, this can be any of the Earth signs as well as the Water signs. So, Cancer, Taurus, Libra, or I'm not Libra, I apologize. Cancer, Taurus, um, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo. That's too many, so just I'll pull more on the energy. Don't stress. All right. Uh, what is the current situation or issue with these two romantically? Six of Wands. Possibly distance or a level of ego. What is the block or external influence for these two? Ooh, shit, that just flew right off. Okay, the High Priestess. So this can either be you or maybe a Cancer or someone that has like a Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising, Cancer Venus. Or it can be the fact that something's definitely being hidden, right? Or not seen, or maybe you're not physically seeing this person. Um, what is the best potential outcome here this week for Taurus and their person of interest? Best potential outcome. Woo, that just shot the hell out. Eight of Pentacles. Beautiful. I really like that. I love the Eight of Pentacles because, you know, it's something about learning and figuring out, like, what the hell is really going on. You know what I mean? Now, as far as your person is concerned, I do want to say this. You know, um, let me think about the best way to maybe go about this when I say this. I feel like your partner, you know, uh how they view themselves with this relationship is they, they just want to be peaceful, right? They want to have a very loving and stable and harmonious energy. You know, they feel like they have a very high vibration. Uh, they feel like they're very compassionate, that they're very family oriented, trustworthy. There's a level of, you know, um, a sense of home. However, I do think that, you know, they know that they can be superficial at times or jealous or possessive, uh, sometimes unwilling to change their opinion on something. Um, I do believe, too, that sometimes they feel like they're diplomatic to, uh, to the point of being superficial or jealous. It's almost like they think of things way too logically. Um, and I think that that at times can be very, very stressful for you. But they do have a very strong sense of uh, stability. Like even if, um, let's say they're de de like let's say they're living with somebody else, right? But they're not with them. They're not going to leave that situation because there is some type of stability there, even if it's not their own stability, but it's that other person's stability, right? And it's almost like they try to make you happy at the same point in time. Where how you view yourself is very much, you know, I'm the empress. Like, don't get it twisted. You know what I mean? Like, you have that energy where you know your worth. You know what you're bringing to the table. You know what you have to offer. And I think for you, it's like you want to be very passive and sensual in a very comforting partner who at times, you know, may be stubborn or indulge in things at times. But it's all about self-care, right? And I feel like for whatever reason, you're helping your partner or this person of interest really realize like their own value because 
I feel like there, and my crown chakra is going off like crazy right now. I feel like there's somebody who takes care of everybody. I mean, let's be honest, right? They're coming in strongly with um, the emperor. That's strong ass emperor energy. That's somebody, you know, who is assertive and protective and a partner who may be at times a little bit impulsive, but this person definitely helps enhance, you know, your, uh, your self-esteem when it comes to um, relationships and also your image. This is somebody who's a boss. This is somebody who's a CEO. This is somebody who is great with numbers. Uh, this is somebody who works well in high stress situations. Um, they tend to keep their cool at all times for the most part, unless they're behind closed doors and they can blow the fuck up. But, you know, this person, they're coming in as the emperor. Like, I feel like they, they match you very well. If you're the empress, right? And they're the emperor, like, what the fuck? I mean, that, that is it, right? And I feel like they've come in as this quite a few times, but obviously something's blocking it. And I'm telling you this because the empress is at the bottom of the deck. And I really think with you and this person, it's about building your own stability together, right? As one. It's, it's you're tired of them being here and you being placed at the bottom. It's like I, you want to know your worth and know that they feel the same way that you do about them. Can you give me more information about their person of interest? The sun. You also can be possibly be dealing with a Leo. You know, I think that this person is very attractive. I think that there's a lot going on around them at all times. Um, this person, try to try to think about this. This person may, you know, work with their hands. This person may be somebody who is seen by multiple people. Multiple people are attracted to them. You know, they want them because of how they look. Uh, this person is very giving and very caring. Let's see. And I do feel like they're financially well off or you feel like they're financially well off or that's what they portray, right? Prince of Wands, uh, possibly a Sagittarius or also a uh, Gemini energy. Maybe uh, they're a Gemini, uh, what is it? A Gemini, well, it can't be that. Yeah, well, this is also Gemini energy. Let me just throw that out there. This is Sagittarius or Gemini energy. You know, you feel like this person, like, even though they come across as the emperor, there's something immature to them with their actions. Maybe, you know, in the sense of business or in the sense of work, they come off as very strong and domineering. But then when it comes to, like, love and passion between the two of you, it's like they're more so, I don't want to say immature in that sense, but it's still unformed. It's like they're giving, right? Right. And they're active when it comes to you and there's a lot of passion. However, I just don't think it's the same level that people view them at. That's coming in strongly for some reason. Well, uh, I feel like every time I do your reading, Clarence pops off. So there's Clarence. He's a Taurus. Um... And my question when I'm asking this is why do they, why are they somewhat insecure when it comes to Taurus and it's the Eight of Wands? It can be the fact that they're nervous with seeing you. Something about you makes them nervous. Something about touching you, that, touching you or something about, you know, I don't know. You make them nervous. It's almost like the pleasure of you and this person being together, it, it, it doesn't allow them any breathing room. And maybe that's why they continue to be kind of hot and cold for some reason, because you have that eight of wands there. It's like the moment that they see you, they're not going to want to leave you. And then they're going to feel stuck on you, right? It's like, I feel like they have fought themselves for a period of time not to give in to you. It's almost like they're going back and forth, queen of pentacles, Here's Capricorn, um, Capricorn or Cancer, like they're fighting that level of stability that you give them. Why? Because of the devil, because they're hell of attached to you. Scorpio. Some of you guys are going to be like, well, how the hell did you get that? 
Well, honestly, like, I feel like this person may possibly have another situation. However, I don't think they're tied down to that or there's something that leaves them stuck. But the real issue here is how strongly they feel about you. And I feel like the moment that they acknowledge that or the moment that they get into it, it's like the, the eight of wands, right? Shit is flowing quickly. And now all of a sudden, you know, you're coming up as the queen of pentacles and it's like you're acquiring a level of security and stability and they're attached to you. And it's something very sexual about you that drives them crazy. Three of cups, passion, success. It's how you talk to them. That's Mercury and Cancer. It's like the fact of how you communicate with them makes them feel so comfortable that they're like, fuck, like, I don't ever want to leave. What is going on? You know, this person is normally a very dominant person, but then all of a sudden you come in and it's like their whole world is like, you know, turned upside down because of what you offer. And it's not just a physical thing, but it's also an emotional thing and how you communicate that to them. How you feel about them is the Princess of Cups. You're like, listen, this is just the beginning. You have a lot of opening up to do about your feelings. You may feel like this person is emotionally immature. Yeah, great. They can lead a Fortune 500 company. Great. They can have a great, you know, uh, for, you know, uh, God damn it, I can't think of retirement fund. You know, they may have multiple assets. The issue is if they cannot communicate how they feel about you, it's just like that's that's a level of immaturity right? It's like you feel like this person is very passive um, when it comes to their emotions. Why? Why the Taurus feel like they're passive? Because of the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, I don't know how you guys interpret that, but how I interpret this is the fact that, you know, uh, one, this person may be fighting the connection. They may be fighting the fact that you guys are meant to be together. Like there's a level of conclusion here. There's a level of transformation. There's moving on, moving forward, you know, moving in the right direction, communicating that. And maybe this person, you feel like they've not been honest with themselves. And maybe they have. And that's why they're insecure to approach you. Because Taurus, how you come off on paper and how you come off to people, perception is key, right? You know, you come off extremely polished. You know, you come off as the person that's like, oh, hey, you know, you're ordering and you're like, yeah, I'd like walk on that. And, you know, the uh, server's like, you know, that's extra. You're like, motherfucker, did I, did, I, did I stutter? I know it's extra. Go ahead and add the guac and bring that, you know, dessert menu back over because I'm going to get some dessert to clean my palate. You know what I mean? Like, you come off in that way where it's like, don't get it twisted, boo. Like, I know my, I know my worth. And I think that that's intimidating to this person because it's like, what do they give you? How Taurus feels about them. How does Taurus feel about their person of interest? Two of Cups. But Taurus, like, you really fucking love them. That's Cancer uh, Venus. You are highly connected to this person. It's like this person means everything to you. And I think for you, that's crazy to have such a strong connection with somebody who you feel like is emotionally immature. It's like your, your, your feelings are so strong because of your intuition. It's not because this person is overly expressing how much they love you. No, it's because you know how they feel because you guys are soulmates. This is not the first time that this has happened, right? Like this is not the first time that you've been faced with this person, that this person has had to make a decision and go with it. And I also feel like, too, this person definitely gives you a level of balance and, you know, a sense of comfort. Two of Cups, like I said, Cancer Mercury, I'm mean, sorry, Cancer Venus, or they also uh, can be a Pisces or a Gemini. Somebody in the comments was like, um, comment somewhere was like, that's not what the Two of Cups is. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Uh, the Two of Cups is how I view the Two of Cups because I'm doing the reading and what I'm saying is I think that this is beautiful. Like you, I don't know how to explain this Taurus, but like the partnership between the two of you, it's not just romantic. It's also a friendship. It's like this person is your best friend at the same time. Um, one more card about their person of interest. It's like they're very caring and giving to everybody, except when it comes to you, 
they're hella stubborn. King of Wands, possibly a uh, Leo, Sag, or Aries, or Leo. Like, again, this person is highly, highly, you find them very attractive. You find them very um, stable, consistent, practical, focused. This person is somebody that's very independent, you know, they have a level of routine and I feel like you know that they're very loyal. I just think at times um, a level of ego does get in the way here when it does come to you and them and I feel like they do fight that change or fight whatever type of change that needs to be made in order to have that forward movement. What is Taurus like about their person of interest? Woo, Ten of Pentacles. You like the fact that this person has their shit together. This person looks good on paper. This person makes sense, uh, you know, in the material world, right? This person is very efficient. They're very logical. You know, you can look at this situation and you and them can grow together. You guys together can make more money than you can apart. Whether you own your own business, Taurus, or they own their own business, it's like you offer them a different aspect to growing, and I think that you know that. It's like you can transform that, you know, Ten of Pentacles and you can change it into something much, much more. Look, there's a Wheel of Fortune. There's a level of abundance with you and this person together. There's a level of luck here with you and this person together. It's like, I don't know, it's like the perfect match. I know that sounds weird and I feel like I keep saying that like, time after time. However, it's true. Like I can't, you know, I can't deny whatever cards are falling out. What does Taurus not like about this person? The eight of swords with the nine of wands. They're taking too goddamn long to express themselves. They're not communicating as frequently as they should. They're not saying certain things. It's always leading you to question like, what the hell are they doing? Like, why are they not making a move? Why are they not coming and seeing me? Why are they not expressing themselves? You know, I don't think you like that. I don't think you like the fact that you are somewhat suspended or stuck in a situation because this person isn't necessarily communicating. And for you, I feel like, like there's something you don't know that you want them to express. And by the time they do express it, Knight of Pentacles, that's um, <clears throat> Virgo or Gemini, by the time they express it, it's almost like, what? Like, uh, hold on, player, right? It's like he's offering her a fruit, but it's like it's already old, right? Because it's something that's taken a hell of a long time to get out, but by the time that this is expressed, it's not enough, or you feel like it's missing certain pieces. It's like, Okay, are you telling me a half-truth? Are you just making me an offer to try to make me cool again? Or, like, is this really the truth? Like, I think you question that. Like, I think you're always challenging exactly what they're offering you because it's not enough. And I think that that's what happens. And then there's these weird tower moments where you block them or they block you. And then there's no talking. But then all of a sudden it's like, fuck, we love each other. Now we have to talk. Right? Right? And it's like, you remember how things can be, you know, you have an image in your mind about what something, the potential of something has. All right. So hopefully that rant is over. Um, you then have the six of wands as, you know, the issue or the situation. And this is all about, you know, this is Jupiter and Leo. This is all about expansion. And maybe somebody or this person feels like they need to expand alone prior to allowing you to expand with them. Why is the Six of Wands here? With the World card. They feel like there's something that they have to do on their own. There's something that they have to finalize or something that they have to finish prior to allowing you back in. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Scorpio, uh, Aquarius, or Leo? What needs to be learned? what's being learned justice it can be too that they need to finalize a divorce or they maybe there's some type of legal issues that they have to get underway or fix prior to approaching you you know what i'm saying like they know that they can't approach you until they're completely together how does taurus feel about justice 
death. You want that shit to end. You see what I'm saying? Can have something to do with a Libra or a um, Scorpio. There's some type of commitment or some type of um, attachment. Maybe it's a written document. So if it's not, let's say that they're connected to somebody, if, if they're not separated or in a marriage, maybe they're living with somebody and they need to break that lease or they need to like sign their name off the deed or something here. But however it is, you want it to end. You want whatever commitment that they have, it needs to end. It needs to end. It's like the time has come. You know what I mean? I'm tired of dealing with this. You need to end it. Why does Taurus want it to end? Because of the hangman. That's Pisces or Aquarius. But I feel like for you, it's like you have to sacrifice something. Maybe Taurus, you feel like, you know, you, if you're going to sacrifice something to be with them, they need to sacrifice something to be with you as well. And sometimes it's about doing the hard things, right? And those are the ones that have the greatest reward. It's also about taking like <clears throat> a level of risk and putting faith that no matter what happens, like there's something coming from this, right? The hangman is, you know, ultimately breaks down to three. Teamwork, creativity, groups, family. Maybe there's something that needs to be sacrificed here for, you know, family. Um, what is Taurus feel like needs to be sacrificed? One more time. What is Taurus the Four of Swords? That's Libra and Jupiter. Maybe you feel like, <clears throat> here's the thing. What needs to be sacrificed is trying to make everybody happy, right? Libra is always trying to make everybody happy. Stop trying to be diplomatic. You need to do what's best for you. You need to have forward movement, right? And I feel like you want this person to stop being stuck in a situation or an issue that's not serving them. It's like, okay, well, as much excitement as this gives me just to talk to you, like, I need more than that. And that excitement doesn't overweigh, you know, the fact that there needs to be a level of physical touch here. Right? Knight of Cups. Okay. Pisces. Pisces, Aries, Cusp. Or um, Gemini. Gemini. Um, you know, I just feel like for whatever reason, it's like... This person is trying just to play coy, trying to play it cool, and it's just like, no. You know what I mean? Like, stop trying to be modest with it and just do it. Stop trying to play the woe is me role and take a level of action. Three of Pentacles. You know, that's Mars and Capricorn. That's about doing the right thing. That's about having a level of structure, understanding that there's right and there's wrong. And I feel like for Capricorn, there's no gray area. You know what I mean? Like, oh, no, this is happening. And having that mentality that it is going to work and it's going to work by putting in the effort to make it work between the two of you. How does uh, how does Taurus's person of interest, how do they feel about this situation? The chariot. It's a conquest. You know, they know that there's going to come a time where shit has to end with how things are going. Like, they understand, like, these, this cat and mouse game, it's just not working. And they're going to have to do the hard thing, and they're going to have to provide you a level of security, or else it's just not going to work. And you need that level of security. That is important to you. Where, do, where is the trait going? Woo! <sighs> to the King of Cups. Scorpio, Pisces, Leo... They know that, here's the funny thing, remember beforehand they came up as the Princess of Cups? Where they know, they know that they have to come in as this king. They know they have to show up or get the fuck out, right? It's like, oh no, you're not coming over here with, you know, uh, <laughs> that bullshit. Like, you need to show up or show up, like, get out. And I think for you, it's almost a level where you know that you have to be somewhat harsh with them in order to get the result that you want. I don't know why, but that's what I'm getting. It's like this person reacts well when you're mad at them. 
when they like they react out of fear so like if you're cool with them then or you're nice to them it's like nothing goes anywhere but then the moment that you're like pissed off or you're mad or you block them it's all of a sudden it's like now they want to move mountains to try to make things right with you because they're scared to lose you sorry i'm taking a drink of water okay what's the block or what's you know um the external influence is the high priestess so taurus or cancer but I feel like that's something not being known. That's something that's under the surface that's not come up. What's hiding? What's, what's, what's hiding or what's secret? The Ten of Swords. Okay. How does Taurus feel about the Ten of Swords? The Chariot. You know, this person may be hiding how much they care about you and how hurt they are. Because... <laughs> That's how you feel about it is a chariot. And look at, like, look at this dude. He's like, yo, I'm marching on, okay? I'm coming right at that ass. Like, get ready. You know what I mean? I feel like them being as emotionally connected to you as you are to them, I think that that would make you feel good. I know it sounds fucked up, but let's all be honest. If, if this person has hurt you, knowing that they're hurting too, sometimes that makes us feel better. Yo, I can raise my hand. I know, like, if, if I know, like, I'm not the only one feeling this, like, that makes me feel a little, you know, it makes me like, okay, cool, I'm not crazy. Um, where does Taurus feel like the chariot is going? Hmm. Taurus of Five of Swords. Okay. That's Venus and Aquarius. You may feel like this person is lying or hiding or like they're they're saying they're going somewhere or they're saying that they're doing something but that's not true what is being lied about the magician aries gemini or uh virgo they may be lying about whatever they're doing or the work that they're putting in or they may be lying about you know um certain things that they have to do why why would they be lying about that because of the Ace of Pentacles, maybe they're lying about their money situation or their job. Why? Because of the Five of Wands? Hmm. The Five of Wands is uh, Saturn and Leo. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like they're watching you. I definitely feel like they're watching you. Some of you guys are like, yo, this is all over the place. I know, but there's so many messages that are coming in all, all at one time. They're watching you and they feel like you're trying to do something to teach them a lesson, which may be why it's like they're bucking back, right? It's like they're frustrated because they can't give you what you need. The moon. So they hide or they lie about it or they're not honest about something. Why are they hiding it? Because of the four of wands? Maybe they're hiding something that has to do with their home situation. How would Taurus feel about this? The ace of wands? Maybe they're hiding how much they really want to be with you or how much they really want to move to see you. Right? Oh, look, it's the fool. It's like they really just want to pick up and leave everything behind to be with you. That may be something, but there is something that they're hiding. But why are they hiding that? Because of the Seven of Cups. Because they're not sure exactly how everything works. I'm going to say this. If you guys are dealing with somebody that embodies the Emperor, the Emperor doesn't move unless they're 100% sure, right? They have everything mapped out. They're 10 steps ahead. This is how they think. I'm 10 steps ahead prior to making a move. So if your person is somebody like that, for some reason, Taurus, you come across as a wild card for them and, and they're not positive where exactly, you know, they should go. And they're in their head about it. Nine of Swords, they're stuck. It's like, that's why they're not talking to you or they're putting a level of distance in between you because they're in a weird mental state where they're not as confident. They're not used to not being confident at all. So um, just kind of keep that in mind. And I feel like too, it's like, sometimes it feels like they're pushing you away 
like you'll have a great conversation and then all of a sudden it's like you, you don't hear from them. You're like, what the fuck? Where's the consistency? And it's because they're pushing you away. That's their defense mechanism. And I feel like they're scared that, you know, if they let you close, you, this is how I think I know I'm right because Clarence is over here going the hell off. If they let you close to them, they're worried that you have a level of power, right? And also, too, you get to see who they are at a soul level, and not a lot of people get to see that. The people see, you know, this emperor. They don't They don't see the princess of pentacles. They don't see the person that's really hurt, that's kind of like um, gone backwards, right, to this princess of pentacles. So it's kind of interesting how that works. Now... For your outcome, you have the Eight of Pentacles here. So obviously there is something successful and there is something that's being taught here. And it's something very substantial and it is a level of forward movement. For those of you that this has brought enough clarity, I love you and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.